weekend of the Bates game, we were all really focused. Older guys have been talking in practice about how in past years we would had a really good run of home wins. Um, and when it came to this three-game away stretch, we kind of struggled. The base game was a really big one for us. Uh, Sterling emphasized that himself, being a native Mainer. We've struggled up in Maine the last couple of years. He brought it up with some like 0-3 and 1 going in. So for him, on a personal note, it was a really big game. His brother uh, plays lacrosse there and was at the game. So we wanted to get it done for Sterling. We wanted to get it done for the team as well. Uh, to win an SCAC championship, you can't just beat the good teams. You got to beat every team. So that was our mentality going in. Everyone kind of just had their eyes on the Bates game uh, and 100% effort. We got up to Bates, went out, checked out the field, and we knew that. And towards, like this year, it's not it's not one of the best fields in the SCAC, and that'd be just an extra thing for us to contend with. They're a really good team, and really hard to break down, especially on their own pitch. It was good to get there a little bit early, uh, watch the girls' team. They had a good performance, scored a couple really good goals, which was huge for them. Uh, we've got a great relationship with their team, so it's really good to see them succeed as well. <laughs> Okay, TK, I want you on the nine. You're on Merchant, all right? The next crew coming forward are both center backs, the six and the 15, right? And then likely the four, okay? When the two new strikers come on, I think both, they both have to be handled. Stand them up, work them to help, make it really, really hard, right? And then Merchant wants to get out in channels, get behind. And if he's getting on it and going laterally, be aware of Wainers bombing in behind us. But again, this game, more than the last few, is gonna be about your personality, your grit, and your fight. Okay, it's not going to be a perfect soccer day. It doesn't mean we can't get a hold of it. And if you watch the women, they play two touches and they move the ball pretty darn well. But if the surface is not going to be great, I don't care. Okay? Make it work for us. Alright fellas, welcome to Maine. Open to Bates for, for a lot of us, for all the juniors and the seniors. This will probably be the last time we ever come here. We got 26 guys who can come out here and make a difference. Let's show it today, right? Let's f show it. So, you breathing that in? Breathing in that fresh main air? A lot more rocks to do Feeling good? I could, I could use a bit more pollution, but that's okay. Yeah, shout it bad, but she broke and she don't own shit. Mama asked me, son, when the trapping gon' quit. I've been riding round through the city in my new bitch. Yo, nigga, pop it with a pocket full of cottage. Hey, whoa, keep on sob it, chop up, aim it, bitch, nagging. Hey, had to cut the body, then the top, I had to chop it. Scoop, scoop, niggas, pocket, watch it, so I gotta keep it. Let's go, bitch! Spectators, student athletes. BJB! Let's go, boys! 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 Let's go, boys!
Let's go! Do you want to win the NESCAC? Yeah. Do you want to host the NESCAC tournament? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to make the NCAA tournament? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to host an NCAA tournament game? Go it ahead. starts right here. If we do not win this game, all that is in jeopardy. Our season is in jeopardy. Let's go out and show them why we're the defending national champion and run them off their own goddamn Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And once the game started, the field was just as bad as everyone expected from warm-ups. The ball was bouncing everywhere. I mean, we kind of struggled to get at them in a way where we dominated the game. So it was difficult to get it down and play. Uh, we kept knocking at the door, hit the post a couple times, got in behind, but they made some good defensive uh, tackles at the end. Uh, and finally, TVB, the elf, comes through off a set piece, scores that... Uh, little tap in kind of, but you know, it was a goal. The ball is bouncing around. We get a shot off that's clearly going in the net until none other than Connor Coleman, our finest defender, is laying on their goal line to make a goal line clearance for Bates. We're like, great, it's gonna be one of those days. Uh, they clear it out and luckily we get another corner. And off the ensuing corners when we finally made the breakthrough. Ball that I thought he could have gotten to. Jafir there, Jafar is getting in his way. He's gonna come for this ball. He does not. Ball's just sitting there. Still sitting there. Goal. And that breaks the tie. Travis Van Brewer, thank you very much. Ball lands at his feet. He puts it home. Six minutes to go. Bates is down a goal. They're a really good team, and i got to give Bates a lot of respect. They're one of the teams that uh, tries to play it straight up, and they had a lot of chances that game. They didn't just sit back and look to counter. They had some really good players. Merchant up top It's a real handful. Uh, they had some good chances going both ways. We just really weren't on our game, but we were luckily able to score off a set piece and get out, which sometimes that's what you need in the NESCAC because there's no easy games. Our final is 1-0 Tufts on a late goal from Travis Van Brewer. The defending national champions moved to 10-1-1 one one on the season. A really hard-fought game. Bates acquitted themselves very well, but uh, just did not have the firepower. Could not put one past Bruce Johnson. Every game in the NESCAC, we know it's going to be a hard-fought battle. And, like, there's no games that are just given for granted. So I think coming into every game, regardless of, you know, what position the NESCAC or in the table they are, you have to come out hot and you have to come out swinging. So even though we got out of there, escaped with a win and kind of a last-minute gold win 1-0, the message after the game was that it wasn't good enough. We kind of needed to refocus to reach our goals for the season. Driving up on a Tuesday up to Keene State, it's a pretty tough challenge. You gotta flip the switch after class and get ready to play in a big game. Keene State was actually an interesting setting. Um, it was on a Tuesday night, I believe, and we had a fenced in field, and it, to me, it kind of felt like we were at a summer camp playing under the lights. Tuesday for me is uh, probably my toughest day academically, which is not ideal since that's when all our games are. I wake up, have a 9 a.m. class, it's a three hour history lecture, uh, real exciting stuff. Then I go from that straight to um, another history class at 11.30 and go straight to another history class at 12, a civil rights movement class. Get out of that, and then whether we have, if we have practice, I have a couple hours off to get lunch, get some food in for training. But on game days, it's tough. Uh, that Tuesday, I actually had to leave, leave my class early to get on the bus and have to Keene State. So it's tough to flip the switch right away, but something we gotta do. We'd done the work to put ourselves in a really great position, but it didn't matter if we threw it away there. We had a couple of games left and we had a chance to solidify ourselves as one of the best team in the country, but it was going to take a lot of work to make that happen. Let's go, let's go, let's get it today. Come on, come on, let's get it today. It was tough. Um, to eventually find it, and then uh, Dexter hit a banger off the corner. Um, and then from there, we get the offense started flowing, and we kind of settled down and got, got going. But it was definitely a frustrating game at first, and I think it's one of those where it's easy to take for granted initially, and then, um, you know, we, we got caught on our heels a little bit. And then Jared grabbed a nice goal at the end of the second half, and we went away with the 3-0 win, which was nice after that drive. The final score is tonight. Tufts University Jumbos 3, King State College Owls 0. King State was, it was a big win. It put us, I think, at nine wins for the season, which meant we knew we were close to our team goal. Uh, more personally, it, we knew as a senior class, it meant that we'd become the winningest program in Tufts history, uh, which was obviously a big milestone for us. So it was, it was a big win, it was a good day. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. After beating Keene State, we had two games left in the season, Williams and Bowden, and everyone, even though we're supposed to be thinking, beat the next team, we were like, it was hard not to look ahead and say, all right, if we beat these next two teams, we can go this far, and then if we beat the teams after that, we can go this far. And we think we were all kind of doing the math in our head. Everyone was really excited. 3 0 wins, always good. Uh, a nice two hour bus ride to get back it was like kind of the perfect time for the guys to decompress, have fun, and turn it around for class fest week and then get back to training. After the last video dropped, all the guys were uh, chirping Bruce about being a surfer, bro, catching some gnar, and uh, no one beach, I bet he didn't take it that well. I've seen some people get rattled pretty easily, but Bruce, Bruce is on another level. He, anytime anyone says anything to him, he kind of just goes on a tirade of kicking people out of group chats. So a lot of people were giving me a hard time about my part in the video when I was surfing. You know, a lot of people have a problem with how good I am at shredding. But anyway, I wanted to make something to shut up the haters. Little cheesy bread. DJ Cheesy Bread. Rolling, rolling, man, I feel like I'm floating. Cruising, cruising, man, I know what I'm doing. Shredding, shredding, man, I feel like I'm in heaven. Riding, riding, man, it feels like perfect timing. It's like this and like that. I shred all day and I rap, uh, uh, it's like this and like that. My wheels keep spinning all day and that's that. Hey, I slap the lip and from the barrel I'm spit. Cause I shred all day and man, I feel okay. I ride that wave every single damn day. I'm even out here at night illuminated by moonlight. It's like this and like that. I shred all day and I rap. It's like this and like that. I drop bombs all day and that's that. We out. They doubted the cheese. Cheesy bread. Cheesy, cheesy bread. Cheesy bread. Cheesy bread. Bread. You don't think anyone's gonna take this seriously, do you?